Okay, here is a request that I got from the comment section. How many three-digit numbers can we make using the digits 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 without repetition? Um, I'm going to show you how to do this with and without a calculator. The first thing we have to do is decide whether we will use permutations or combinations. And uh, the key is that it says without repetition. Whenever it says without repetition, that means we are talking about permutations. Okay, so the thing is, um, we have a total of five options here. All right, we have a total of five options, um, but we are only allowed to pick three at a time. Okay, so uh, a lot of times when we set up our per permutations, we describe it this way. We will say this is a uh, this is a five pick three situation because we have five to choose from but we are picking three. And that's really to remind us that uh, when we uh, choose our permutation functions, it will be five permutation three. And this is a function that you will find on your calculator. So here's how you would type this into your calculator. Um, first you type the five, and then you uh, click the probability button and you see it the permutation option is number one combinations would be number two so I'm just gonna hit enter and then now I put the three alright this is a five pick three situation so the answer is 60 so that means that there are 60 uh, three digit numbers that we can make using these five numbers so that's how you would do it with a calculator. All right, without a calculator, uh, it's actually still very simple. I'm going to put these three dashes right here to represent the three numbers that we're allowed to uh, use. For the first number, we have five options. So there are five ways that we can uh, pick the first number. Uh, but because we're not allowed any repetition, that means when we get to the second number, there are only four options to choose from. And again, because there's no repetition, by the time we get to the third digit, there are only three numbers to choose from. If you want to find um, all of the uh, possible ways that you can form a three-digit number, you can just multiply the number of ways you can uh, pick the first digit times the number of ways you can pick the second digit times the number of ways you can pick the third digit. So in other words, 5 times 4 times 3, which again turns out to be 60.